What if I told you that the reason you've been feeling slower, duller, or less confident lately might be traced back to something as simple and overlooked as acidity in your body, and that a teaspoon of baking soda, yes, the same one sitting quietly in your kitchen cabinet, could be the missing key to restoring your glow, your circulation, and even your bedroom confidence after 60. This isn't a theory. This is the science that many older adults have never been told. My name is Dr. Mohit Kara. I'm a men's health physician with over three decades of clinical experience helping men and women rediscover their strength, clarity, and energy without gimmicks and without shame. I've seen what truly works, and it often starts with the simplest changes. Here's the surprising truth. Baking soda isn't just a household cleaner. Used correctly, it can help support your blood flow, boost oxygen delivery, improve muscle function, and even unclog the small vessels that feed your most vital organs, including the ones responsible for sexual performance. Most people have no idea this connection even exists. In this video, you'll learn exactly how to use baking soda safely to support your energy, glow, and intimate health, starting today. No fluff, just real solutions that empower you from the inside out. And if you stay with me to the end, I'll give you a simple seven-day protocol that my senior patients are calling a second chance in a teaspoon. Before we dive in, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time. Hit that button and turn on the bell so you never miss another simple, powerful tip to help you stay vibrant after 60. And if this message speaks to you, type 1 in the comments. If it doesn't, type 0. Your feedback helps me serve you better. Let's start with a truth most people never talk about. Why so many older adults begin to lose their natural glow, energy, and confidence after 60. It's not just aging. It's what's happening inside your body that matters most, and understanding this is the first step to getting it all back. 1. Why Older Bodies Lose Their Glow After 60 I've sat across from hundreds of older men and women who quietly ask me the same question. Why do I feel like I've lost my spark? It's not vanity. It's a deep, human longing to feel alive again, to look in the mirror and see vitality, not fatigue. After 60, many notice that their skin looks duller, their energy dips faster, and confidence in their body slowly fades. Most people chalk it up to age, but the real culprit is often something else. Your body's internal environment is shifting, becoming more acidic, inflamed, and burdened with waste it can no longer eliminate as efficiently. As the kidneys slow and the blood thickens, toxins linger longer. Circulation weakens, and little by little, that inner radiance dims. I remember a patient named Harold, 67 years old, who told me he used to feel electric in the mornings, sharp, strong, ready to take on the world. But lately, even after eight hours of sleep, he still felt sluggish. His skin looked tired, his motivation dipped. His doctors told him everything was normal, but deep down, he knew something had changed. The truth is, our bodies weren't designed to run on years of slow toxicity buildup. They need help restoring balance. And sometimes, that help comes from the most unexpected places. And that brings us to something simple, overlooked, and surprisingly powerful, baking soda. Because once you understand how it restores your body's natural chemistry, you'll never look at it the same way again. 2. The Science of Baking Soda and Your Body's pH When I first explain to my patients how baking soda works inside the body, their eyes usually widen with disbelief. Wait, that white powder I brush my teeth with? They ask. Yes, exactly that. You see, beneath all the everyday uses we know, deodorizing fridges, whitening teeth, Baking soda is actually a natural alkalizer. That means it helps neutralize excess acid in the body, gently shifting your internal chemistry back toward balance. And for someone over 60, that balance can make all the difference in how you feel. As we age, the body often leans toward a more acidic state. This hidden acidity can quietly wear down your energy, stiffen your joints, dull your skin, and slow down every cell in your body. It's like a fog that settles over everything. But when we use baking soda correctly, it acts like a soft breeze clearing that fog away. Blood becomes a little freer, oxygen travels more efficiently, and inflammation begins to ease. 
I remember one gentleman, Raymond, who started a simple routine with baking soda and told me, it's like I got a little bit of my spark back. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not a miracle powder, but it's a powerful tool when used with care, and it lays the groundwork for something even more vital, your circulation. Because without strong, steady blood flow, even the best habits fall short. So let's look at how this tiny ingredient may hold the key to restoring one of your body's most essential systems. 3. Baking Soda and Blood Flow The Circulation Link if there's one thing I've learned after decades of practicing men's health, it's that circulation is everything. It's not just about the heart or the arteries, it's about life reaching every corner of your body. And yet, after 60, so many men begin to feel colder in their hands and feet, notice slower healing, more fatigue, even issues in the bedroom, all signs that blood isn't flowing the way it used to. What breaks my heart is how often this gets dismissed as just aging, when in fact, your body might simply be crying out for better flow. Here's where baking soda becomes more than a kitchen ingredient. It becomes a circulatory ally. Studies have shown that when taken in proper doses, baking soda can help relax blood vessels and support nitric oxide production, which improves vessel flexibility. It acts almost like a soft internal cleanser, gently supporting the pathways your blood needs to nourish your muscles, brain, skin, and yes, even your sexual organs. I had a patient, George, 71, who came in frustrated by his cold limbs and low energy. Within a week of adding a basic baking soda routine, he said, it's like someone turned the faucet back on. It's not magic, it's chemistry. And it's one more way this humble powder quietly supports the very foundation of your vitality. But strong blood flow isn't just about feeling warmer or more alert. It plays a crucial role in performance, stamina, and confidence, especially in the most private areas of your life. And that's exactly what we're going to uncover next. 4. Baking Soda and Muscle Performance After 60 There's a quiet kind of frustration that sets in when your body just doesn't respond the way it used to. I hear it all the time, men telling me, Doc, I'm doing everything right, but I still feel tired after the smallest effort. And what they're describing isn't laziness or lack of discipline, it's the natural buildup of acid in aging muscles. As we grow older, even the simplest activity can leave our muscles sore, tight, and slow to recover. That's where baking soda comes in as an unlikely but effective support. Baking soda has a unique ability to buffer lactic acid, the very substance that builds up in your muscles when they're under strain. When that acid sticks around, you feel worn out faster. But when it's neutralized, your muscles work cleaner, longer, and bounce back more easily. I remember James, a retired firefighter in his late 60s. He still liked to walk every morning, but halfway through the route, his legs would cramp. We added a small dose of baking soda to his morning routine. A few days later, he told me, I made it through the whole park loop, no cramps, first time in months. It's the little wins like that that restore your confidence not just in your body, but in life itself. And while better muscle recovery is a blessing, there's something even more profound that baking soda can support, something older men rarely talk about, but quietly worry about every day. Let's talk about what happens when baking soda helps restore blood flow to one of the most vital and vulnerable parts of your body. Five, baking soda and mental clarity, the brain glow connection. There's a moment many of my patients describe and I felt it myself too. You walk into a room and forget why. You can't find the word that's right on the tip of your tongue. You wake up already tired. These small lapses are brushed off as, as just getting older, but deep down, they leave a mark. They chip away at your confidence. I had a patient, Leonard, a retired school teacher, who once told me, I used to feel sharp, like I could take on anything. Now I feel like I'm walking through fog. What most people don't realize is that mental fog and fatigue are often tied to what's happening inside your blood and how well that blood is feeding your brain. When your internal pH is off, when your blood becomes sluggish and acidic, your brain pays the price. That's where baking soda begins to shine. By gently supporting a more alkaline environment in your body, baking soda helps your blood move more freely, delivering oxygen and nutrients where they're needed most, especially to your brain. The result? You may start to feel a little clearer, 
a little steadier, more present. Leonard called it a lifting of the fog. That kind of clarity isn't just about memory. It's about showing up fully for your life, your family, your conversations. And when your mind feels awake again, the rest of you starts to follow. But what if I told you this same simple remedy could also support one of the most overlooked muscle groups in your body, one directly tied to control, strength, and even sexual health? Let's explore what most men never think to train, but should. 6. How Baking Soda Can Unclog Penis Veins This is the part that makes many men lean in a little closer, and understandably so. Sexual confidence doesn't just fade with age, it gets buried under layers of frustration, shame, and silence. I've had countless older patients come to me and whisper, I don't feel like myself down there anymore. What they don't realize is that their struggles often have less to do with testosterone and more to do with blood flow. Yes, the real issue is that the small vessels feeding the penis, what I often call the penis veins, have become narrowed, inflamed, or clogged over time. Now here's where baking soda earns its place in this conversation. It helps improve circulation by reducing acidity and easing inflammation in blood vessels. And when your internal chemistry is more balanced, blood flows more freely, not just to your brain or muscles, but to the most intimate parts of your body. One of my patients, Walter, 72, said it best. It didn't just help my performance. It gave me back my dignity. That's the kind of transformation we rarely talk about, but deeply deserve. When used correctly, baking soda can be part of a bigger solution, helping restore vitality to parts of your life that may have felt quietly lost. But don't be mistaken. This isn't about miracles. It's about giving your body what it needs to function naturally again. And now that we've talked about what baking soda can do inside your body, let me show you how to actually use it, safely, effectively, and with the respect it deserves. 7. How to use baking soda safely. Internal and external methods. Now that you understand what baking soda can do for your circulation, energy, and even intimacy, the next step is knowing how to use it safely, because here's the truth. Just like any powerful tool, it can either help or harm, depending on how it's handled. Over the years, I've seen men jump in too fast, taking too much, or using it the wrong way, and they end up discouraged, or worse, uncomfortable. So let me tell you what I tell my own patients. You don't need to overdo it. In fact, less is often more. A simple mix, half a teaspoon of baking soda stirred into a glass of room temperature water taken on an empty stomach a few times a week, is often all it takes to begin restoring balance inside your body. I've seen men come back just a few weeks later saying their digestion improved, their skin looked healthier, and they felt lighter in their own bodies. It's not dramatic, it's subtle, but powerful. For others, especially those dealing with swelling or joint stiffness, a warm baking soda foot soak before bed can ease tension and help the body detox through the skin. I've even recommended gentle baking soda masks to some patients whose skin had lost its brightness. They were amazed at the change after just one or two uses. But while these uses are incredibly helpful, they only work when done with care, and there are mistakes that can quietly undo all the benefits. So before you start, let's talk about what not to do and how to avoid the silent traps many fall into. 8. The Mistakes to Avoid with Baking Soda One of the most frustrating things I see in my practice is when someone tries something promising, like baking soda, but uses it the wrong way and ends up thinking it doesn't work. Or worse, that it made things worse. And I don't blame them. Most people aren't told how to use natural remedies responsibly. They're told either to avoid them completely or to go all in, without understanding the balance in between. But with baking soda, balance is everything. The first mistake I see is overuse. Just because a little helps doesn't mean more is better. Taking too much too often can upset your stomach, increase sodium levels, or even burden your kidneys if you already have underlying issues. I once had a patient, Robert, who began taking it every single morning and evening. He meant well, but soon, he started experiencing bloating and fatigue. We scaled it back, and within days, he was back to feeling better than before. Another common mistake is skipping breaks. 
Your body doesn't need constant correction, it needs support in waves. That's why I often suggest using baking soda three to four times a week, not daily forever. And if you're taking medication, especially for blood pressure or kidney issues, you must talk to your doctor first. Natural doesn't mean risk-free, it means respectful. But when done right, this simple ingredient becomes a quiet ally in your daily routine. And for those ready to take it one step further, I've put together something truly special. A seven-day protocol my patients love because it's easy, gentle, and actually works. Let me walk you through it. 9. The 7-Day Glow in Confidence Morning Protocol Sometimes the best results come from the smallest, most consistent actions. I've seen powerful changes happen not through major overhauls, but through simple daily choices that build momentum over time. That's why I created this 7-day protocol, not as a strict regimen, but as a gentle rhythm. It's something my patients, especially those in their 60s and 70s, can follow without stress, and often with surprising results. It begins each morning with a small act of self-care. Half a teaspoon of baking soda in a glass of water, taken before breakfast. Not every day, just on select days, enough to support alkalinity without overwhelming the system. On other days, we focus on recovery, a foot soak, a face rinse, or light movement paired with deep breathing. What we're doing isn't just supporting the body, we're inviting it to remember how to feel good again. You begin to feel lighter, more awake, more connected to your own rhythm. One of my longtime patients, Earl, told me that for the first time in years, he looked forward to mornings again. It gave me something to count on, he said, and the spark started coming back. This routine isn't a cure, it's a reminder that your body still knows how to heal, how to shine, how to move forward with strength and grace. But even the best routine means little if we don't protect the mindset behind it. And that brings me to something even deeper, something no remedy can give you, but every man over 60 desperately needs to reclaim. Let's talk about the silent weight of shame and how to finally let it go. 10. Final Words from Dr. Kara There's something I wish every man over 60 could hear, not just once, but often enough that it sinks in. Your body is not broken. It may be slower, softer in places, or feel unfamiliar at times, but it's still yours, still alive, still capable of joy, strength, and yes, real healing. The truth is, most of what we call aging isn't just about the passing of time. It's about accumulation, of inflammation, of stress, of silence, and too often, of shame. I've sat with patients who've spent years hiding how they feel, ashamed of a fading libido, a softening belly, a sense of not being the man they used to be. But what I've learned, and what I try to remind them, is that confidence isn't something you outgrow, it's something you reclaim. And small acts, like waking up and taking control of your health with something as humble as baking soda, can be the spark that brings it all back. Because when you choose to care for your body, you're telling it that it still matters. You're saying, I'm not done yet. And I believe that truth with everything in me, you are not done. In fact, you may just be entering your strongest, wisest, most powerful chapter yet. Now, if this message stirred something in you, stay with me just a little longer. Because I have one final reflection, a simple, grounding reminder that could change the way you see your body, your health, and your future from this day forward. If this message spoke to you, if even one part made you feel seen, heard, or hopeful, please take a moment to like this video, share it with someone who might need it, and leave a comment below. Tell me what part resonated with you most, or what topic you'd like me to cover next. Your voice helps this community grow, and if you'd like to support my mission to bring honest, empowering health advice to more seniors, consider making a small donation. Every gesture, big or small, helps keep this message alive. Thank you for being here. You matter more than you know.